Left of the box. From T. Dot Resident again, just to show, like, we have the budgets coming up, the deficit in Ontario with all the spending that Doug Ford is doing, but how is the cost of living going for people? So T. Dot Resident quote tweeted this, uh, mocking clearly the April 1st carbon tax change of three cents a liter on gas did this because again, Federal's conservative is like, the carbon tax, three cents a liter on gas. Do I like that? No. Is that the be all and end all of affordability? Not even close. There's so many other things, but let's just go here. I thought this was a typo, says the Daily Hive Toronto. Canadians startled by a $45 fruit and veggie trays at Metro. And then they wonder why people living with disabilities and poverty can't eat healthy food to help keep them healthy. If you're thinking of picking up a pre-cut fruit and veggie tray for your guests, you might want to consider buying some produce and making your own platter. Now, I know there's a lot of people that say like, oh, you can make your own platter. It's cheaper that way. You can do this and that. And I get it. I get it. And for the most part, yes. That doesn't excuse this price. Like, yes, there's going to be some people who who don't have the time or the you know, physical ability to do the chopping and all that sort of stuff. I get that. And so these trays become very convenient for them, but that is just a very, very tiny percent of the population. The vast majority of people can just make their own fruit and veggie tray. That doesn't excuse the price. It just doesn't. It should not be this much. Am I crazy to think this is literally so expensive? She asks. So this is a TikTok that is now not showing up here that was showing up earlier, but there's some weird things going on with the internet right now. New or lower price reads the sticker on a waterlogged display shelf. One 2.7 kilogram veggie tray includes grape tomatoes, cauliflower, uh, celery sticks, baby carrots, and sliced cucumbers. You know, I've never been able to eat these baby carrots anymore ever since I learned from somebody who works in um in in the industry uh how they're preserved because <laughs> you notice when they get a little bit old and a little bit dried out they kind of turn white that's because they're being bleached and i just <laughs> i haven't been able to eat them since <laughs> um but also the the flavor isn't there much either so there's other little types of carrots that you can get but yeah 45 dollars for this $45 for this, and no one eats the freaking cantaloupe and honeydew melon. You should just get rid of that, you know, put blueberries and raspberries in that instead. And as people are pointing out, that doesn't even include dip. There's no dips in these. There's, n there's nothing. There's no dip. No dip. But you're looking at, after taxes, $100 for those two trays after taxes. And also in Northern Ontario, you have the same type of issue, only worse, as always, because the cost of living in Northern Ontario is exponentially worse. Uh, so Sal Mamakwa says, food prices in Northern Ontario keep rising. First Nations are a, a big business, but companies should not profit while we struggle uh, trying to live a good life. It's time for nations to work together. And so for this much smaller tray, it's uh, $30. So if we go back to here, I'm trying to see if I can get a zoom in on the picture. Did this one show the picture? I'm trying to see how much it is per kilogram. I guess I can do the math, but that requires work. And I don't math. Because this one, you can see that it is $43.99 per kilogram. Wow. Oh, okay. So then this one was what? Three point something. So yeah, multiply that by, by. So multiply this 43 by three to get the price. If that was the same size. Wow.
that I miss having like nice fruits and veggies that I could enjoy. I can't imagine how they manage up in um, in northern communities and First Nation communities. It is just blows my mind. And then people will will get on my case about my diet or that I'm not eating healthy. Well, not just me, but people in general who live with poverty, that we aren't doing enough to keep our own health in check. It's like, we can't afford healthy food. You know, after this, I'm going to eat crap because that's the only thing I can afford to eat. You know, I want to work out more and build muscle. That requires a fair bit of protein that I don't have money for. Like, it's just, ah, uh, ugh.